Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about the power of a product rule for exponents. You can get this worksheet for free by clicking on the link in the description below. Here we are at the first problem for the power of a product rule. The first problem gives us 3 times 10 raised to the second power. Now this 2 means that we are squaring the quantity 3 times 10. So we could rewrite 3 times 10 as 3 times 10 times 3 times 10. So we have our quantity 3 times 10 squared. So now we have the quantity 3 times 10 times itself one time because we're squaring it. If you were to simplify this, you would rewrite it as the 3's together and with the 10's together. So we would have 3 times 3 times 10 times 10. And then to simplify this, 3 times 3 you could write as 3 squared and then 10 times 10 you could write as 10 squared. This will be your solution. Now there is a shortcut that will allow you to skip the steps in the middle. If you remember back to the power of a power rule, anytime you have an exponent on the outside of the parentheses, you have to distribute it to everything on the inside of the parentheses. So when we have our term here, 3 times 10 squared, we could easily take the 2 and distribute it to the 3 and the 10 that's on the inside of the parentheses. So we would rewrite it as 3 to the second power times 10 to the second power. And in this case, that is your solution. You can see that both of these answers are exactly the same, and that's how you know that this shortcut will work. Let's move on to a little bit more difficult problem. And if we look at number 6, it gives us x squared times 3 to the 7th, the quantity raised to the 5th power. Now we already know that we can take this 5 here and we can distribute it to everything that's on the inside of the parentheses. So we will distribute the 5 to the 8 squared and the exponent of the 5 to the 3 to the 7th power. So when we do that, we're going to write 8 squared in parentheses, so that's our first term, and it's being distributed with the 5. So the exponent of the 5 has to go to the 8 squared. Then we have 3 to the 7th, and then the exponent of the 5 is also being applied to the 3 to the 7th. So we took the 8 squared, we wrote it here with the exponent of 5 on the outside, and then we took the 3 to the 7th, and we rewrote it as 3 to the 7th raised to the 5th power. You will remember that when we have a parentheses in between two exponents, that means you're going to multiply those exponents together. So that parentheses means 2 times 5, or this parenthesis here means 7 times 5. So we keep the base, in this case, 8 to the 2nd raised to the 5th power. You would do 8, keep the base, and then 2 times 5 for the exponents, and then 2 times 5 is 10. And then you do the same thing with the 3. You keep the 3 as the base, and then for the exponent you do 7 times 5, which is of course 35, and that's your answer. The last example we work on is going to have variables instead of numbers as the basis. Now when we have variables, nothing about the rule will change. So we will still take the exponent on the outside and distribute it to everything on the inside. So in the case of number 9, we have x to the 5th times y to the 6th times z to the 7th, the whole quantity raised to the second power. So we will take this 2 and the 2 will get distributed to everything on the inside of the parentheses. So it goes to the x to the 5th, the y to the 6th, and the z to the 7th. So when this is distributed, we're going to rewrite x to the 5th, which now has the exponent of 2 on, above it, times the quantity, or the term y to the 6th raised to the second power, times the term z to the 7th, also being raised to the second power. We can go ahead and multiply the exponents because we know that the parentheses in between the exponents means the multiply. So we'll have keep the base of x and then we'll do 5 times 2 which is 10 
then we'll keep the base of y, and then we'll do 6 times 2, which is 12, and then we'll keep the base of z, and we will do 7 times 2, which is 14. So our final answer is x to the 10th times y to the 12th times z to the 14th. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to our channel or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.